It's Jordan. Uh, go start that again. <laughs> it's Sean and Gina's walks. Say hey, Gina. Hey. Hey. Hey, right. As you can see, we're properly wrapped up today. Even though it's not windy or rain, well, it's a little bit windy, but it's not raining. So we're at the Reekin. Yeah, oh, no, you're not, you're not that tall, but. <laughs> but we've kind of, instead of going up the Reekin today, uh, oh, by the way, I'm hanging from last night. I went to a uh, house party with uh, Al, Rob, and Titch, and Pierce, and that, and my head is absolutely singing. But so have, it was punishment, he's been made to walk. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, no sympathy. Um, so yeah, we're not going up the Reekin. We've decided we're going to explore what's around the Reekin. So far, we found um, an house, a house, a house, a very big house in the country. But um, we walked past it, and we've um, quite a few times, don't we? And we've never ever seen it, like never, never noticed it. And then we was walking further down the road. And we found like this, as you can probably hear, it's like a, a stream. And then right next to the reek here, which I've never noticed before either, is this massive lake. It's some creepy, creepy looking oh, cast iron, would you say, bridge? Yeah, that doesn't look very sturdy at all. <laughs> no, it's like something out of a horror film. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a walk over there. Uh, maybe, maybe get across it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can see it on the video. Yeah, you can actually. It's that there. Um, we're going to have a walk across it and see how sturdy it is. Um, I got complaints last time that I, it was more of a video about me than it was about the scenery. So I'm going to try and get as much scenery in as I can. And less, less of my big head. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll just cut it and paste it all together later. Anyway, say bye Gina for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Right, while the wind's died down, I thought I'd do another video, just quickly. That bridge wasn't a, well, it was a bridge, but it was out of action. There'll be some photos on that later, it was a bit creepy. We decided to walk around the Reekin, uh, but we, uh, we ended up going, uh, basically, down this bloody long road. Um, from there, there's the Reekin, there, to see what was around the other side. Turns out, there isn't much around the other side. <laughs> Except more roads, and it just keeps going and going and going, doesn't you? You can see she is very happy. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk back, and here's some scenery for those people that want to see the scenery. It's a bit windy still, as you can hear, but I thought I'd show you some scenery. And um, yeah, when I get back around the other side, I'll uh, try and uh, continue the recording. Say bye, Gina. Say bye. Don't, don't be so much fun between us. I think she heard me. I'm gonna go. Right, we're back on the video recording. We've gone into the Reekin. Into the what? Into the scary woods. As you can see, Rather than have my big face, I've put the camera forward now, so people can see a bit of the scenery. We've come off the road, which is over there, there you go, you can see it. And we're now walking through what is a very creepy wood. <laughs> but it's nice, you can hear the birds, this little stream, you know. Serial killers with the axe behind you. Uh, nah, I forgot my axe. But. Overall, it looks quite nice around here. I mean, it looks like it was originally planted this way, though. It looks like it planted the trees um, and then made this path. Because, like, as you can see, all the trees seem to be pretty much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In parallel with each other. So, but we're going to walk up the Reekin and then down the Reekin. We'll see. We don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. So, when I get to the end of here. Oh, sorry, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw it like a deer. Um, when we get to the end of here, I'll probably do a little video to wrap up. But for now, it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from Gina.
There you go, it's a bit more enthusiastic than last time. Right, so we've stumbled across something as we're walking around the bottom part of the Reekin. Um, what do you reckon it is first? I've got two. Uh, it looks like an old, like... Um, Mill type thing. Like a fabric thing? Yeah. I don't know. If anybody see, knows what's this... Actually, probably better if I walk around the other side so you can actually get a better view of it. Even though it's swamped everywhere because of all the recent uh, rain and wind. And I mean, if you, I don't know if you can see over there, but half half the forest is actually ripped apart the ground through where the, um, the wind's lifted it. But this, I don't know what it is. I still can't see that much down here. So I'm going to oh, get a bit closer. Um, I don't know what it is. It's like It looks like... Um, Actually, I've done this backwards really, haven't I? I should have done it over that side. I could just lift it down then. Um, right, I've got to be careful because I don't know what's here. But this, I don't know what it is. It... Okay. Just... It's very good at pointing out that over here, you can see. See? I. Oh, it goes right down. I, it goes into a pit. Goes, yeah, it goes into a pit. I don't know what it is. Um, anyone's guess is as good as mine, because... If you know, let us know. I, I got, <laughs> yeah. What was that, Gina? If you know, let us know. If you know, oh, let us know. As you can see, in the distance... Well, I don't know if you can actually see. The sun's come out a little bit. Um, starting to perk up a little bit. Gina and I have got, like, 20 layers on, because it's cold. Um, but yeah, the sun's coming out. It's a very really nice walk around here, instead of going like to the summit all the time. You don't really need to keep going to the top of the region. Um, we've been up a couple of times, but I think what I'll do is start exploring what's around here. Because like I say, it's nice views. I mean, see behind me, it's all... It's nice, man. It's nice to get out and enjoy a bit of nature and all that sort of jazz. To sitting in the house all the time. Ah, the steps. Right, hold on. The mystery, the mystery deepens. There's some steps over here. As you can see, I'm on a lower level now. That's what we're looking at. There is a giant pit full of wood. That, mm, that smells. I hope there's no bodies in there. And there's some steps here. I wonder if it's got something to do with the shooting range. I wonder if it's um, a, like a, a shooting, the, shoot, shooting, play bits out. shooting target. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. And there's a little shack down here. But anyway, we don't know. She doesn't know. I don't know. And um, I'm not going to bore you any further, really. So I reckon this is probably. Last video. Are we near the car? There's Gina in the distance. But yeah, I think I think it's probably the last last video. We're just having a, a mooch around what's in the reeking because I've never noticed all this stuff before. Been here a few times, and uh, I, I don't really know. But yeah, I mean, look, it's got some nice views as well. I mean, we're quite low down. I mean, the reeking's like up there. Like, well, we're on the reeking, but the summit's up there. And we're quite laid down, but you get these beautiful views. There's some hills over there that we want to go see. And on the other side, there's some other hills. Do you know the name of those hills on the other side? No? I don't know. But I think the next hill we'll probably do might be Carmel Valley again. No? Or you guys wait till it's not wet, wet and miserable. Yeah. Right, anyway, last video. I say it's the last video, but it never is the last video. It might be the last video. For your sake, I really hope so. So, say goodbye, Gina. Bye. Bye.